Hello, this is your pastor Tony Kapola na nataka nikukaribisha katika kusikiliza neno la Mungu tena siku ya leo. Biblia inasema neno la Mungu ni taa ya miguu yetu na linatumulikia kila mahali tunapokwenda. Maneno haya yatafungua macho yako. Inawezekana kuna giza ulikuwa unakutana nao kwenye maisha yako lakini liko neno ambalo neno hilo unalo siku hii ya leo. Karibu. Ladies and gentlemen, this is financial deliverance part 1. Wa Colossae sura sura ya kwanza mstari wa 13. Afadhali umeiona maana mimi nilikuwa sijaisoma. <laughs> sura ya kwanza wa Kolosai mstari wa 13. Wa Kolosai sura ya kwanza kwa faida ya wale ambao ndio mara ya kwanza kushika Biblia kwenye maisha yao. Tuanzie mstari wa tisa. Wa Kolosai sura ya kwanza mstari wa tisa. This is financial deliverance and I believe your heart is ready now. Haya wa Kolosai sura ya kwanza mstari wa tisa. wa tisa. I love what I'm about to preach. Kwa sababu hiyo sisi nasi yani mimi na wewe. Si ndio? Yes. Aha. Tangu siku ile tuliposikia hatuachi kufanya maombi na dua kwa ajili yenu. Ah. Ili mjazwe maarifa ya mapenzi yake katika hekima yote na ufahamu wa rohoni. Mwenende kama ulivyo wajibu wenu kwa Bwana mkimpendeza kabisa mkizaa matunda kwa kila kazi njema na kuzidi katika maarifa ya Mungu hapo hapo so ukiona mle mstari wa tisa angalia alipoanza anasema kwa sababu hiyo sisi nasi tulipo eh tuliposikia tangu siku ile tulipo sikia walisikia nini walisikia nini unarudi mstari wa saba kama mlivyofundishwa na Epafra mjoli wetu mpenzi uh-huh. aliyemhudumu mwaminifu wa Kristo uh-huh. kwa ajili yenu uh-huh. naye alitueleza upendo wenu so, katika roho kuna mtu anaitwa Epafra yes. alienda kulitembelea kanisa la Wakolosai alipofika akawa anawafundisha semina haleluya alipomaliza kufundisha akarudi kuwaeleza mitume ya kina Paulo alichokikuta Epafra alichokikuta jijini Dar es Salaam aliwakuta watu wa Mungu ambao wanalika na kuanzia hamsini kushuka chini fire for god wanampenda Mungu full of vibe of god wana upendo wa Mungu katika roho and then paul said there is something i want to instill in them so paul anawaandikia barua ya kuwaeleza ripoti yake baada ya kusikia upendo wao wa watu walionao juu ya Mungu. Kumbuka, this is financial deliverance. But I want to take you here so that we can know where do we start. Anasema hivi, kwa sababu hiyo sisi na stangu siku ile tuliposikia hatuachi kufanya maombi. So number one, the man was praying for them. Hatuachi kufanya maombi na dua kwa ajili yenu. Now, aliwakuta watu wanampenda Mungu. Why did he pray for them? Why should he pray for them? Kama wanampenda Mungu, kama wanampenda Roho Mtakatifu, anasema wana upendo katika roho. Full of the spirit. And yet anasema hivi, siachi kuwaombea. Siachi kuwaombea. Anasema hivi, na kufanya dua kwa ajili yenu ili mjazwe maarifa ya mapenzi yake katika hekima yote na ufahamu wa roho. Karibu ukae. So I will not rush as I told you. I will be very slow when the time is over I will finish we will go home we will meet on Sunday. Amen. What did I say we will meet when? On Sunday. Thank you. Now look at this old man of God full of the spirit of God. He is saying Tangu siku ile niliposikia hello. Amen. Are we there? Yes. Good. Anasema tangu siku ile niliposikia habari ya upendo wenu katika Kristo katika roho. Anasema hatuachi kufanya sala na dua kwa ajili yenu. Look at what the man was praying for. Na ukitaka kujua kwa nini huyu baba, ukitaka kujua huyu baba uh, au niseme hivi, ukitaka kujua ni kitu gani umuombe mtu ambaye umeanza kumsikia ya leo mchana mama mchungaji alikuwa ananiambia I was sharing with her a certain news about one of our uh, our ministry daughter ambaye alikuwa kwenye maisha fulani sio fine now Mungu ameweka mzigo ndani yake kufanya kitu cha kimungu yanakimbizana akasema hivi Pastor Tony 
wokovu sio mwepesi kama unavyofikiri dunia ina raha nyingi sana ukituona tuko kwa Yesu akaniambia na Yesu mimi ni binti pasta ukiniona niko kwa Yesu nitie moyo wokovu sio mwepesi ukimuona kijana naongea hapa na wazee watu wazima baba mama watumishi wa Mungu ambao mko kwenye neema wa baba wa mama mliokoka muda mrefu ukituona vijana tunamkimbizana na Mungu hata kama amtuelewi sana tutieni moyo jamani duniani kuna henesi unajua leo ni Ijumaa alafu ukiambiwa klabu jioni hii sitaenda kwa hiyo jamani tutiane moyo so paulo anasema hivi niliposikia habari ya upendo wenu katika kristo anasema i started praying i started praying for you guys nikaanza kuwaombea na haya ndio alikuwa maombi so this is the thing kama wewe umesimama katika kristo and you see your brother your sister na yeye ameingia katika ufalme huu wa Mungu na unamwona na unatamani ungependa kuendelea kumuona if you feel like praying for someone please this is the prayer anasema hivi number one, hatuachi kufanya dua na maombezi kwa ajili kwa ajili yenu ili mstari wa tisa pale ili mjazwe cha kwanza nini maarifa ya mapenzi yake. Kwa hiyo kuna kitu kinaitwa mapenzi ya Mungu juu ya beni. Mapenzi ya Mungu juu ya prosper. Mapenzi ya Mungu juu ya neema. Mapenzi ya Mungu juu ya amina. Mapenzi ya Mungu juu ya Adija. Mungu kuna kitu anachokipenda juu ya Dina. Kuna Mungu kuna kitu anachokipenda wash name brother. Mungu kuna kitu anachokipenda juu ya Fred. Kwa kuna kitu kinaitwa mapenzi ya Mungu juu ya huyo mtu. Now fact ya kwamba yuko ndani ya Mungu, fact ya kwamba yuko katika Kristo It doesn't mean kwamba mapenzi ya Mungu juu ya maisha yake yamefunuliwa kwake. Kwa anaweza kukaa yuko ndani ya Mungu lakini hajui Mungu anataka nini kwake. Bata anampenda Mungu. We take our kids to school. Sijui kwa nyinyi wenzangu ambao mna watoto wadogo kama mimi ambao wanasoma primary bado. Sijui. Lakini as for me Shule yote nayompeleka mtoto wangu I take them on purpose I inspect the school I will have the reason why I have my critical reasons Kwa nini mtoto wangu sijampeleka pale nimempeleka pale I will tell you I have like seven reasons whenever I take my kids to a certain school Siwaambi ili msije mkawa watoto tutoeni kwenye hizo shule nikaona kani karibu biashara za watu There is a reason why I'm taking my kids there and not there. Naweza nikawa na ndugu wengi. Naweza nikawa na marafiki wengi. I have my reason. Naweza nikawa nakupenda lakini siwezi kuruhusu watu wangu waje kwako. Lakini mimi na wewe ni washikaji. Napendana sana. Kinoma. Na hii hata kama ulikuwa hujawahi kuwaza hivyo, please rethink. I have my reasons why I'm not taking my kids there. Why am I'm taking them there? Lakini watoto wao hawajui. Kwa nini mama ameniamsha shule hii amenipeleka pale? Hajanipeleka hapa. Yeye yeah, anaenda tu. Baba amesema niende pale. Eh, naenda. Fairly. Lakini mimi kama mzazi najua. Na usiku mtoto akikua akiwa na uelewa. Ndio hapo tunamwombea sasa ajue maarifa ya mapenzi ya baba kwa nini amenileta hapa. Apate knowledge. Now sio kila mtu knowledge imekuwa exposed. Now mtu mwingine anaweza akawa yuko mji fulani au ameomba kitu fulani akitokei. Ameomba kitu fulani akitokei. Anajiuliza why is it not happening? Ana hii silabda kuna pepo, kuna mashitani. They can be the reason. Lakini pia yanaweza yakawepo mapenzi ya Mungu kwa nini uko hapo ulipo. Now if you are not aware you can be frustrated. But if you are aware why you are where you are you live at peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Go with me slowly, ah? Huh? Yes. Imagine Ayub. Angelikuwa anajua kwa nini mali zake zimeondoka. Angelia. Angeumia. Ayubu maumivu yake alikuwa makubwa si kwa sababu tu ya mali. Anasema hivi, I lived with this God faithfully. Ayubu anasema. 
mpaka baadaye Mungu akaja kumwambia hivi simama ujieleze unajifanya wewe ni mkamilifu talk to me ni nani ameweka ameweka makomeo ya bahari talk to me mbingu nguzo zake ziko wapi you think you are perfect talk to me stand up like a man and talk to me when god is telling you that would you have a mind why kwa sababu ayubu anasema hivi mimi tangu nilipokuwa mdogo siri ya Mungu ilikuja ndani yangu anasema nilisaidia watu wasio wasioona mimi nilikuwa macho yao nilikuwa mikono yasio mikono wasio na mikono nimemkosea Mungu nini marafiki zako walikuwa namwambia hivi baba umepigwa kwa sababu leo inawezekana kuna dhambi ujui umetenda dhambi mpaka Mungu mwishoni anawaambia marafiki zake ayubu nyinyi mmemfanya huyu jamaa aingie kwenye dhambi ya kuji unajua kujihukumu ni dhambi to stay with guilt is a sin Yaani hata na dhambi uliyoitenda kukana kujihukumu. Yaani kusema hivi. Mimi hmm. ni muoni tu. Hiyo peke yake ni dhambi mbele za Mungu. Mungu anakuambia ni nani kakwambia? Adam alisemaje? Tuko uchi. Mungu alimuuliza nani kakwambia? Sasa Mungu tusemeje? Tunajiona tuko uchi. Mungu anataka hivi. Unasikia maumivu mwilini useme hivi. Mimi ni mzima. Unajiona kabisa hapa mimi ni mwenye dhambi Mungu anasema visema mimi ni mtakatifu It's a very tough thing Sasa Mungu hataki sisi tujipimie kutoka kwenye yale tunayoyatenda anataka tujipimie kutoka kwenye ufahamu wetu juu ya Kristo Yesu Amen Ndio maana God is the one who say yeye aliye dhaifu aseme hayo yanaitwa maarifa ya mapenzi yake kwamba nijue mapenzi ya Mungu nyakati zangu za udhaifu wangu natakiwa kusemaje and mind you hajasema hivi yeye aliye dhaifu aanze kuwaza kama ana nguvu no 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 amesema aseme kwa nini aseme because when you speak you inform your bones you inform your flesh you inform your soul listen to me if you don't talk your soul will rule you thoughts are not winning without words write that down and you will tell your son Mawazo hayashindi bila maneno. Namna pekee ya kushinda mawazo ni maneno. Ndio maana anasema hivi, mazungumzo mabaya huaribu tabia njema. Tabia inajengwa from the thought point of view. You think you process in thoughts and then you create a certain mind. And then a certain mind creates a certain way of living. Mindset inatengeneza namna ya maisha ndomana tunaita mind set manake is a set of a mind is a is a is a set of a certain mind manake sio mind moja ni set hesabu za set mnazikumbuka yale madunguli nakumbuka kwa manake it's not one mind is a set of mind that brings a complete thing inaitwa mindset now it is a mindset that creates a certain character yo jamani natamani ningehubiri Kiswahili yani Hebu zelezea set Kiswahili. Hivyo hivyo. Kwa hiyo mindset mjumuisho wa wa set za mind. Mpangilio. Whatever. Roho wa Mungu atawasaidia kuelewa. Hallelujah. So mindset create a certain way of living. It create a certain character. Kwa hiyo unavyoishi wewe leo ni mjumuisho wa mindset there is a mindset you have set a certain mind here ambayo inakufanya uishi aina fulani ya maisha so you are living not from what is happening you are living from your mindset if we are able to change your mindset we will change the way you live i'm so happy you are here today This is financial deliverance. Kuna deliverance itatembea hapa. Na Biblia inasema tumefanywa ukombozi kwa damu ya Yesu. Kwa kabla tujaingia kwenye kuitamka damu ya Yesu na kuiita damu ya Yesu, we must know tunatoka tokaje. Lazima unajua ile movie ya Prison Break ngapi mmewahi kuiangalia? Kama hujaangalia ile basi wewe ujui movie. Wewe una series. Kaitafute kama uijui. Ni ya zamani sana. Hata Netflix juu kama bado ipo. When you want to break the prison you don't just go in front of the prison. Uh-uh. The 
You know, the prison break movie was inspired by the Bible. If you didn't know. You must be in the prison to break the prison from within. Jesus has to, had to have seen Ilya and Kuzim and then from Kuzim, he broke the prison. You got it now? Melewa. He had to carry sin. Koyo. Michael Schofield had to do a mistake. He robbed the bank. The money that he didn't take. Ilya ingizo kwenye gereza flani. He targeted a certain prison. Kwa manaka ilibidi ya plan ajue. Wanao endaga kwenye gereza hili wanafanyaga makosa gani? Kwa hiyo, he had to break, to break the prison to get in so that he can break the prison to get out. So, kabla tujaitia damu ya Yesu kutufanyia deliverance, we must draft maps. Lazima tuchore michoro. So, what I'm doing here, Pastor Tony, is drawing the map. So that you, you, you ujue, kwamba, anapozungumzia financial, tunatoka tokaje. Kwenye iki kifungo nilichofungo wa chafedha. Kuna kiwango fulani. Why financial deliverance? Kuna kiwango fulani cha uchumi misi vuki. Kwa manaki ni gereza langu. Naishia pale. Mfungo wa yukoje. You, we deliver people who are in prison. Hello? Man. You are only delivered because you are in a certain prison. You are in a certain bondage. Uko kwenye vifungo fulani. There is a certain economy that you don't cross. Fine. Pastor ametufundisha financial breakthrough. Ametufundisha financial warfare. But u, siku, kuna watu wengine siku ambayo hela tupati ila we don't cross a certain level. Na kuna watu wengine siku kwamba hatuna hela nyingi tunazo lakini we don't build in our clan uko wetu na hii kitu tunaoenda nayo hii. Sio tu kufunguliwa kwenye hela hizo tunazofanya kila siku. No, hii message Mungu ameniambia tutaishia kwenye kutoa na kwenye vifungo vya ukoo, vya makabila na vya nchi. Sisemi kwa nia mbaya wala kwa nia ya dharau au kwa nia ya kukashifu watumishi wa Mungu but I want you guys to think Naongea hivi kwa unyenyekevu mkubwa nikijua na kwamba na mimi mtumishi wa Mungu na ndo kwanza mdogo na kijana Lakini in my heart I'm troubled I'm really really troubled It is in my I suffer If you see me in prayers and fasting not mungu aniongezie upako no 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 we have men of god ambao from our corners tukiwa mbea tukuyu tukiwa mbagala kizuiani tukiwa pugu kule chanika na simu zetu we are watching men of god from nigeria Zaria from Zaria to Abuja we are watching them from Kaduna to Lagos we are watching them wametokea na wenyewe vijiji vyao they are in Africa but we are able to watch them from Nigeria to here we know them by names nikwambia hapo nitajia watumishi wa Mungu kutoka Nigeria unaowajua you have yours South Africa we have them Zimbabwe hapo wapo you understand Malawi hapo, Zambia hapo. But ask me if we go today in Nigeria and we ask them who is the man of God you know from Tanzania? You hear me now? When we speak about financial deliverance, it goes far. It goes far. So we want to break these chains. I'm not preaching this message to show that I'm the best. No. I'm preaching this message also. Hii ujumbe sio wenu. Huu ujumbe ni ujumbe wetu kwa taifa. Ni ujumbe wa taifa. Si ujumbe wa kanisa, ni ujumbe wa taifa. Waislamu anatakiwa usikilize. Wapagani anatakiwa usikilize. Wakristo anatakiwa usikilize. Mabudha anatakiwa usikilize. Yoyote mwenye interest ya ku break the prison to break a, a certain bondage amboi melitesa taifa amboi melitesa uko you have to listen to this message trust me 
Look at the people of your clan. How many of you may cross a certain prison? May cross a certain kind of finance? What am I going to Trust me. Uki cross peke yako, uja tobo abado. Because they will pull you. They will drain you. Familia itaku drain. Utarudi pale pale alipo ishia babu. Look at your family. Look at your clan. Angalia uko wako, angalia familia yako, angalia ndugu zako, angalia rafiki zako, angalia company yako, tumevuka mpaka wapi? Kwa nini tuna hela Tanzania? Kwa nini watu ni mamilionea but they are not known? You know why? Because wengi wanaogopa hata kujulikana wana hela. Because unajua probably serikali itawatafuta au ndugu atawajua yani kuna namna hayuko free na hela yake there are billions that billions in the bank with your time with all the humble sense google andika richest men in tanzania alafu niambie kama anko wako yupo Uliye kumuona shangazi yako? <laughs> Aliyeza leo na baba tumbo moja. Ah, hata na Aliyeza na baba baba. Yule mtoto wa shangazi mamdogo, mamdogo wa mkubwa. Are you listening to me? Na niwaambie ukweli. Huu sio ujumbe wa fanfare. This is a zealous message. Message with a zeal. Watu wenye determination. Okay. Okay. Wangapi wanamjua Genevieve Nachi, yule mwigizaji wa Nigeria? Niwaulize swali. Hivi leo kibibi yuko. Get ready. Hayupo ata kule nje. Mtamwambia pastor alikutaje. Tuniulize swali. Je, Nigeria wanamjua kibibi? I'm not asking you. Tunao washekeshaji wetu Tanzania comedians. They are very good. America we have Kelvin Hart. We all know him. Haya. Huko Nigeria Kenya hapo wanamjua Jolly Master. No na same because I know probably he's here. Oh he's watching. He's my boy. These are the things that burn my heart. If we will truly want to cross a certain kind of finance. Hatuishitu kwenye kusema tunataka hela za 200,000. Ah ah. No we have to go in the places where East Africa knows our names abroad knows our names amen watu wa mungu we know joy a celebration huh that south africa knows our groups so who ni ujumbe ambao pastor tony i'm questioned You are questioned, we are questioned and I thank God kwamba rika letu tunaosikiliza ujumbe huu linatupa fursa ya kwenda mbele za Mungu na kudai. Tumemkosea nini Mungu kama taifa? Kama kuna kitu tumewekewa kama taifa. Please I'm not preaching this message for fun. There will be a special day katika hizi siku ambazo tunaendelea na kongamano hili la financial deliverance ambao tutapiga magoti mbele za Mungu, tutatubu kama kuna kosa lolote mbalo taifa letu wazazi wetu walimkosiaga Mungu. Kiasi kwamba tumewekewa ukuta. We don't break. Guys, we don't break. Sijui kama wazangu nyinyi mnayowazaga hayo. But these are the things that makes me sleep, it give me sleepless night. We had prophet Tibi Joshua. The whole world know him. Do we have a man from the nation? And Nigerians are sitting down watching him. Why? Okay? Unasema Mungu amempa kila mtu kulingana na alivyomjalia. No. Let me tell you. Mungu alimwambia Abraham as far as your eyes can see my eyes have seen the horizon 
sisi hatutaishia wazazi wetu walipoishia amen some people didn't understand me but my first question that i asked prophet you better angel when i met him the man is from kijicho kinaitwa zaka mashingo zimbabwe huko i sat down with him asking him tell me sir the truth what took you from there to be known all over the world i'm a man who has questions watu wanatumia uchawi jamani ni ni niwaulize swali ina maana Mungu ana nguvu nguvu zake ni chache kuliko uchawi kweli jamani kweli yani ina maana watu wote waliotoka wanatumia uchawi ah jamani hivi unajua uchawi na ufrimasi umekuwa kisingizio kubwa sana cha watu kuwa wavivu watu wamepinda jamani watu wanapinda What on a funga? Mimi I stayed with those people. The people those people are praying, guys. Those people are not eating, are not sleeping. Ukiangalia age yake, ni age ya mabrasa zetu huku. Am I saying you know age sawa? We know BBC. We know CNN. Kwa nini media zetu kule hazijulikani? Sasa ah you know dia za zetu si Kiswahili ndio kinatukamisha. Haya, wale Kiingereza chao mbona kimepenya huko? Ah, mkoloni. Kwa nini mkoloni si anatushinda nini? Okay. I want to ask you questions guys. Do you want to tell me? <laughs> yani kwa nini sisi hatuwezi kuifanya Zanzibar kuwa Dubai? Waarabu wa Dubai wanaongea kizungu wale. Wachakalee je, kizungu. Kwamba eti wenyewe kizungu ndio kunafanya. No no no, they made their country attractable. Why are we failing? Where are we failing? Estimate they don't make noise they invest in your boys alafu wanaandika research wangapi mmesoma vyo vya dar es salaam hapa naomba mnijibu zile zile thesis zenu mmerudi nazo nyumbani mmeziacha wapi mmeziacha wapi some of your professors are becoming millionaires with them because they told you to find out something ambayo hamja copy wala kuiga so you cracked your brain so they have a new idea now mind you tunao watoto wetu kutoka Tanzania na wanasema hivi kule Ulaya hauendi kama hauna max flani maana kini they take the cream kwa wanaandika thesis kule na waangalia hapa mliosoma zenu Malaysia India you know daddy took me to India for studies Haya nikuulize when you went to India You came with what? You left the thesis they gave you vodka. You came back drunk. Uliondoka umwe uliondoka huku Tanzania a cool boy started from seminary. Ulifika kule you made sure you pass and you came back. Now you are smoking ganja. This is happening right before our eyes. They make sure they give you free life. They know maisha ya Afrika wazazi wenu wanawafuatilia, wanawatight. But look at us. Tumefika kule. We are open. I'm talking to you my brothers and sisters in China, India, Malaysia. Koko tunako nisikiliza na kunitizama. Watch out your life. Now you are in Europe you are free now mama is not calling you is not watching you Cha msingi tu ni faulu cha msingi tu ni faulu why clubbing so you left home 
And you'll come back with high grades. But you'll come back unstable. And you left all your brain there. So the professors now, baada ya kuacha ile vitu pale. That is a tricky when we take a student to Japan. Wanasema hivi elezea elimu hii au formula hii itaisaidiaje Afrika? Kwa unaelezea labda mkurugenzi anafanya PhD yake mchungaji Masunga yuko wapi? Where are you sir? anafanya phd yake ya, ya, ya wadudu wa mashambani sua pale ata discover mdudu anayekula mahindi ambaye dawa za mbalimbali zimeshinda kwa yeye atashinda maabara na kupima na kupima paka ata discover kitu then watampa phd when they give him phd he will leave the kabrasha there and then it is up to professor to decide tutakuuliza kwa elimu kwa kulingana na mtaala wa bomu shida yako ni phd shida yako ni nini phd chukua hiya mia pass mark first degree first class phd with horns unapita pale you will never use your cabrasha bize kuingiza mi ajisemea brothers kwa yeye sema mimi naona kama tunawaibia wa Tanzania Oh, but Tanzania you know God do they care do they know kwamba you 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 are saving them you know what I don't know you are Tanzania you know ask here pride iko hapa ni Tanzania pekee Tanzania pekee tafuta nchi yoyote jamani Tanzania pekee ndio ina mithali inayosema hivi mimi ni maskini jeuri <laughs> iko Tanzania tu yani hiyo na hao iko Tanzania tu anaitwa nani maskini jeuri maana kesi na hela na na kiburi vile vile utaki kunipa hela nenda na hela yako ni bongo tu but in all other places in the world mtu akijiona hana they break themselves to look for it bongo hapa maskini ana uwezo wa kukujibu hovyo kama ana hela na umfanye kitu unantishia vihala vyako mimi chana mimi bwana hela zako nenda nazo bongo <laughs> bongo cheza bongo bongo mtu <laughs> tuna anamkazia askari ambia oh, oh, wewe nini akishapigwa biti za kuchocha wamemtuliza pa central kaka kaka nasikia afande nimeelewa afande mimi ndugu yako mimi mdogo wako afande paka umemshtua kwanza kaka yani kukushani ila kunyenyekea mtu anajua kabisa nili over speed hmm? nili overtake kwenye mistari miwili anajua kabisa akishuka uliniona wapi nionyeshe picha no uli overtake Nionyeshe picha. Akionyesha picha sikia. Ah, unipiga saa ngapi? Ah ah. <laughs> yaani hawajui ile kusema hivi. Huwa naambiaga dereva wangu, ukishagundua tumekosea barabarani, ukishuka, mwambie afande hivi, mimi ni mkosaji. Nategemea rehema zako afande. <laughs> Unirehemu sawa sawa na fadhili zako. <laughs> Kwa wingi wa rehema zako. Uniokoe na jamhuri ya muungano Afande anakuuliza maswali mawili matatu pale. Unamwambia Afande, hapa pana baridi sana. Nimekunywa chai kweli tangu asubuhi. Afande anakuambia hivi unataka kusemaje? Nataka kusema mimi ni mtanzania mwenzenu na heshima kazi za watu. Naomba kama kuna mgao hapa mkapate chai. Kwa nini uzozani na Afande? Hapaka akupeleke polisi akukuide namna hii. Shuka chini mwambie afande nimekosa. Mimi ni mwanadamu. Ni mwanadamu so Mungu mimi afande. Naweza sikuona mstari hata kama uliuona sema hukuona. Sio zani na askari. Wako pale kwa ajili ya usalama wa raia na mali yako ambayo ni gari. Bongo hii. Anajua kabisa ni overtake na anabisha. 
Umo over speed. Mko hapa mnamiliki magari. Unaweza nuli kwa ipata wewe unajua sitaki kuelezea. Lakini mnajua hapa mnamiliki magari. Distance wangapi mnajua? Distance kati ya gari moja na gari jingine. Nataka iwe mita ngapi? Umekaa hapo na ka BMW kako pale nje. Ujui. Masikini ya Mungu. Haya, ukaja ukamgonga mtu askia, umenigonga mbele. Umevuzima beki ghafla. Mhm. We nyuma hapo ilikuwa natafuta nini? Do you know sheria za barabarani za nchi zinasema kuwe na distance ya mita ngapi? Nchi yetu. Kuna kile kipindi cha TBC kinasema nchi yetu. There is something we have. It is called spirit of pride. Is a snake in the country. Big snake that is eating us up. So wengine wanaponiona ile I appreciate men of God here mababa zetu wa kiroho ninavyowaheshimu na nini hasa ah udogo mbaka ajipendekeza una kaja jikomba komba bro I know what is eating this country I know it it is called the pride the only one deliverance demon that we have to, I mean there is only one demon that we have to be delivered from in this country it is called the demon of pride Kwa hiyo unaniona mimi na inama napiga magoti I appreciate sio ujinga I know exactly what I want because there is a picture I have seen I am not just of this country I see myself as a voice of a generation as a voice of the whole world My question is how do I break the atmosphere how do I break the ozone layer from Kasanga Morogoro to New York That's my assignment Na nenda pole pole Utaka kupanda ndege Tanzania hii kwenda nje nje Mara chache sana unaweza kutumia uwanja wa Kia In most of the countries tunaweza kwenda unaenda Dar es Salaam kwa hiyo unatoka Morogoro unakuja da baada ya da New York Tupo hapa nawaambia macho yenu yataona I will never end in this country I tell you because nisipowaambia haya siku ya kitokea mtasema hivi hey Freemason wiki kijana No I tell you in advance I was in Morogoro I was telling people in Morogoro there is a time you will not see me Now it is happening they say I have run away When I was there they were looking at me like this they were not even coming to the church but now i'm here into dar islam they say oh you run away now you see where can we get the wedi god has called you in morogoro who told you people are very tricky look at your neighbor mwambie neighbor People are very tricky. Watch out the people. Can I shock you? Every single day, please write this in your heart, not on your paper, in your heart. Every single day there is a demon working so hard to take you back to your mother's village. The moment you are taking a certain step to cross a certain border utasikia hivi hmm. siku hizi ukumbuki nyumbani kabisa ukumbuki nyumbani kabisa tunakuona tunavyokwenda kumbuka asili jasiri acha misali zetu ukitaka kujua sisi tukoje sikiliza misali zetu they don't feel yani in this country please i'm taking you to deliverance eh and i'm going to why do we need deliverance na niwaambia watu wa Mungu hii sio deliverance asema hey, mapepo toka mm, mm, mm. This is way beyond. This is not deliverance of a person. It's a deliverance of the system. Amen. So I'm dealing with a demonic system, a chronic demon of a nation. Watch this message will have a big sign. Paka tunamaliza. Will have a big sign. You will see leaders coming here. 
you will see you will see things things will explode in this nation amen kuna matukio yatatokea wakati nahubiri hii message kwenye taifa hili ambayo you will it will shock you amen we have very rare people who win medals of the world in this nation kutoboa tu kwenye mpira wa miguu nchi hii Taifa stars kutoboa yani kuchukua kombe lile hata kufikia yani ile kombe la nani na Afrika yo oh. think with me niambieni nyinyi wachezaji wetu wangapi wako kwenye major teams za duniani okay liverpool walikuwa na mane sadio mane from senegal right yes Senegal third world country like us Please listen to me kwa sikio la kitaifa Sisikie tu kwa sababu unasikia ujumbe wa pastor na ubiriki jamani ba pastor Tony Look at yourself Sio kama ile dangu yupo hapa leo Niko nawaambia hivi Umewahi kufikiri kupeleka vyombo vyako nchi ya nje Elewa hapo. Itakuwa na niangalie. Upo? Uko uko uliko. Anaambia mm well uh, sijawahi kuwaza. Why? Do you think it's her? No. It's a system. Demonic system of a nation is pressing people down. Kuna cloud iko hapa juu ina press. Whenever you think of breaking thing it presses you down. Na mtu yoyote hata kama ni kijana akijaribu kutaka kuchomoka ye atapigwa virungu hata na baba zake mama yake ndugu zake marafiki zake anambia wewe 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 wafa mchezo kuuza bio bizara ni Kenya ah acha ngumu sana ngumu sana hajawahi yeye kufika Kenya lakini anakuambia ugumu wa Kenya Is a demon No I'm just trying to show you naposema financial deliverance what do we mean Guys I don't mean for you to see I'm no longer talking about like mbili like mbili we did that on financial breakthrough we did we did we dealt with it on financial warfare right now we are dealing with a national demon I pray in the name of Jesus yes we will break all the barriers in the name of Jesus amen sema by the blood of Jesus by the blood of Jesus kwa damu ya Yesu kwa damu ya Yesu chochote kinachotuzuia chochote kinachotuzuia kama taifa kama taifa tusivuke mipaka tusivuke mipaka kwa damu ya Yesu kwa damu ya Yesu sema e bwana e bwana kwa sababu yetu sisi kwa sababu yetu sisi taifa litavuka taifa litavuka I decree and declare. Yes. Sisi ndio tutakuwa wa kwanza. Amen. Kupeleka bidhaa nyingine nje nje. Amen. Kupeleka watumishi wa Mungu nje nje. Amen. Kutokea kwenye kizazi chetu. Yes. They will hear us from Tanzania. Amen. Kwa damu ya Yesu. Amen. Pepo inalozuia watu wasivuke mipaka nchi hii. Yes. Tunaliendea kwa damu ya Yesu. Amen. Halitatuzuia kwa damu ya Yesu. Amen. Sema tunavuka kwa damu ya Yesu. Tunavuka kwa damu ya Yesu. kama bro unaendelea kuwaza kuwauzia watu wa mbagala kuwauzia watu wa pugu kuwauzia watu wa kariako you will never be motivated never be motivated unafikiri benki zetu hazitoa hela there are billions in the, in the bank but we don't have plans ni kama akili zetu zimekuwa shut down we don't have plans we don't have those dreams Our visions are blocked. Even our eyes are not seeing clearly. Hatuoni sawa sawa. Yaani hata kama tukitaka kuona hatuoni sawa sawa. Anaita maarifa ya mapenzi yake. Mungu alimtopo alipomtoa Ibrahim akasema nitakufanya wewe kuwa baba wa mataifa mengi. Sio <laughs> sio baba wa taifa moja, wa mataifa mengi. Alafu anasema hivi kwa ajili yako wewe mataifa watajibarikia maana ke whatever that you produce the nations will say thank you you discovered this product alafu anasemaje wa galatia anasema hivi Yesu Kristo wa Nazareti alifanyika laana ya msalaba ili kwa sababu ya ile laana sisi tuweze kuipokea baraka ya Ibrahim baraka ya Ibrahim ilikuwa ni ipi 
anasema hivi kwa sababu ya Genesis chapter number 12 Genesis 12 Mungu nisaidie Mungu nisaidie Tutavuka Tutavuka Kuanzia mstari wa kwanza <laughs> Juzi nikaambia mke wangu I have stopped giving sacrifice in tishilings I either give in dollar or euro. If you ask me why. Um, I'm just crazy. I have this crazy faith. Believing God that our control. Yaani nataka kujua tuna hali mbaya. Hata dola nchi hizi hizi ni ngumu kupatikana. Tell is you what? Manaki it is a hard to do international business. We don't buy things outside there by shillings. Ukienda tu Zimbabwe hapo. Zimbabwe tu was there last week. Zimbabwe tu hapo. Shilingi yetu watu hawachange. They don't change. It. They don't know it. They don't know tissue. Ni kwa Manfred. Manfred I don't know where you. I was with him there. Unaenda na tissue Unakwambia eh What is this? So if you are having a lot of tishlings you better cross by Kenya and then when you get Kenya at least there you can consider and then you change whatever you want to change and then you go around the nations. How? We will have to reach a point where sio kama na 10000 umu ya kitanzania 10000 ya nini zamani mimi na tabia ya kuweka hela ukipata biblia yangu na hela kwenye biblia yangu na sababu zangu zamani kwa nikaweka 10000 siku hizo weke 10000 nikaweka magadha zimeupe amerikani i think i'm joking I teach you things that I do. Yaani mimi nikishindwa kuihubiria, Biblia itahubiri. Paka inielewe. Dola itakuwa ngumu kwa wengine sio kwangu. Nimekataa. Nimekataa dola will respond to me. Euro will respond. Every major currency will respond to me. I talk to it every single day. I have one particular dollar that I speak to it every day. I have one particular note of of euro that I speak to it every day. I'm like crazy, but one day my craziness, you guys will understand. Choose mwalimu mm-hmm. alikuwa anasema, why do we need financial breakthrough kwenye kanisa la Mungu? Kwa nini wa Kristo anahitaji kuwa na fedha? Because hiyo revival tunayosema uhamisho unaokuja baraka ya Mungu nayo kuja kwa sababu ya injili it will need money crusades need money cheche zili zijengwe need money hayo ma- matamasha ya ya watu kufanya hizo live recording need money any revival in this world need money ona mkutano wa Reinhard Bonke sasa hizi anafanya mtumishi wa Mungu Daniel Kolenda angalia massive crowd and then reason it in your mind without a pa system that is powerful enough to minister to all those people injili itaenda lazima ifanyike proper logistics ya kuhifadhi mamilioni ya watu wakae kwenye hilo eneo lightnings system ya lights needs money pa system needs money logistics za pale needs money siku moja yesu alikuwa anataka kwenda Yerusalemu mara nyingine anasema hivi mbona yesu akutumia speaker sasa mimi yesu mimi mtumishi wake One day Yesu alikuwa anataka kwenda Yerusalemu. Yuko Nazareth. Anataka kuingia jijini. Wapi? 
Sema jijini. Jijini. Yesu akawaza. Akasema nikiingia jijini kwa mguu. Matajiri wanielewe. Wenye hela hata nielewe hapa nafanyeje? Akafaza, akawaza, akawaza. Akasema nitafute autobiography. Nitafute range. <laughs> Benz au nitafute nini? Akawaza, akawaambia wanafunzi wake Nenendeni mpaka kijiji kinachowakabili. Kilikuwa ni kinini? Maana kijiji alichokuwa Yesu kulikuwa hakina punda. Kulikuwa hakuna usafiri. Njaelewa. <laughs> kulikuwa hakuna usafiri. Kwa hiyo ilibidi waende kijiji cha jirani kuazima gari. Ili nani? Mfalme wa utukufu apate kuingia. Nendeni paka kijiji kinachowakabili mtamkuta mwanapunda amefungwa mfungueni. Mwamba ni vile tu alikuwa mbabe. Punda akua kwa kwake. Akasema kama mtu akiwauliza neno, si ubabe huo. Yaani hivi akikuuliza mtu atuambie mimi. Asa kama mtu akiwauliza neno sema Bwana anaacha naye. Imagine that. Do you know the meaning of that? Meaning bwana kama bwana akuwa na punda. Ile biti atafute mwenye punda. Imagine ni punda wangapi na wahitaji kwa ajili ya injili. We were thinking with the team kwamba December tuwe na camp maalum. Camp maalum kabisa. Tutakuwa na camp mbili. Tunawaza. Ni mawazo tulikuwa tunawaza. Sio kama tutafanya. Ni mawazo. Haleluya. Na mawazo yetu ni sauti mbele za nani? Bado tunamuomba Mungu atupe kibali. Tuko tunawaza tuwe na camp hata ya siku mbili au tatani kwamba Ijumaa, Jumamosi, Jumapili watu warudi au Ijumaa, Jumamosi, Jumapili. Tuwe na camp maalum ya watoto wa kuanzia miaka 14 paka miaka mitano. Tukae na watoto mahali. Yaani kila mzazi, single mothers, single fathers, those with a marriage Watuletee watoto wa miaka 13 mpaka miaka 5. Tukae nao mahali. Watacheza michezo, watakula chakula, tutaomba nao, tuwafundishe neno la Mungu. Yaani ile likizo tuwatengenezeka experience fani wakirudi shule wamejaro wa Bwana. I was talking to my wife jana. Nikaambia hivi, um, this is what Burns my heart now. I can be so that what are we doing? I don't know. I don't know. We need a place which is very classic, beautiful. What to Nikaambia hivi, kuanda hiyo. I said, "Ah, let's do it. Let's do it." Nikaambia, "You are talking like a mother. Talk like a business person. Think." Kwa sababu mwanzoni anasema, "Wow, this thing. Hata Mungu atakulipa Pastor Tony. Let's do it." Nikaambia, "No. Think like a director. Don't think like a mother." Let's think logistically now. We need a place ambayo ina vitanda safi. We need a place ambayo iko ni ina, ina usalama wa kutosha. Watoto hawatadhurika hata na kijiti. We need a place with a beautiful swimming pool. We need a place michezo ya watoto. We need to hire them. We need a place ambayo watoto We need nurses there. Just to make sure watoto wako vizuri. We need specialized matrons and patrons. Watakao kana nao mabwenini siku hizo tatu. Kwa sababu kumleta mtoto wa mtu na mama yake ayupo na baba yake ayupo. Alafu warudishie mtoto wao amejikwa. Hiyo saa hizi mapiga makofi hapa lakini kurudishia mtoto wako kajikwa. Hautanielewa. Now you think all those it comes down to one thing money. Nikwambia sasa hapo kwenye hiyo kambi ili mtoto wako aweze kuhudhuria unaandikia utupe 200. Sasa hiyo Yesu alitoa vyote bure. 
ndio kitu cha kwanza mkristo atakachowaza kwa sababu yeye anachokiwaza anawaza tu pastor tena atasimama madhabuni ataubia watoto wataenda kwa watoto watoto wanakula nini wanakula nini no 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 i'm a man of class i will never just feed your kids makande no i want those kids to have experience waseme hivi kfc iletwa pale kwenye camp tukapiga tukala ugali ugali unaoeleweka na vinyama nyama na no, unachosema no, no, yani ya, mtoto wako umetupa hapendi kula akirudi nyumbani anapenda kula that's my desire it comes down to money kwa hela hii akari yako kwa hela hii ya 2000 now you know why we need finances in the body of christ unajua kwa nini kwa sababu unajua ndugu zetu wa islam kwa mfano na utaratibu wao mzuri tu wa madrasa sisi muda wetu wakati mwingine ni mdogo hata kupeka watoto sande school do you know madrasa watu wanahudhuria kila jioni na mtoto wako sande school anahudhuria mara moja and you think these people they will compete they are gods will compete in the marketplace karibu sana kwenye game no kwa ukimwona pastor tona anahubiri hapa analuka luka hey jamaa analuka luka huyu no imagine those are the things that i think so tunapokuambia hivi partner give you think uh mm, na wajua watumishi We want our children to know the exposure from church. Yaani kanisa ndio liwafanyie exposure kwamba kuna katuni za namna hii ukiziona za namna hii achana nazo ukichukua za namna hii. Kwa hiyo akiwa anabonyeza remote umemwacha nyumbani na dada wakati walikizo ile mwezi wa 12 baada ya zile siku tatu. Akiwa anabonyeza remote wewe uko kazini. Hata akimuona dada anaangalia movie ambazo anambia dada hii ni mbaya ni dhambi. Anakuja kukusemelea jioni. Mama dada ameangalia hiki unanyooka na dada mwanangu Huko kazini you are busy nyumbani mtoto wako anaangalia na house matukatuka Magudugudu yanaonyesha kwenye TV pale Karibu na TV lako likubwa Mimi nasema I have a ultra modern screen Naweza nikabonyezea pale pale Wakimaliza kubonyeza shetani naye anabonyeza mtoto wako. I don't know. I don't know my brothers and sisters. Sijui nyinyi wenzangu. Ndio kwanza naanza siku ya kwanza. Ndio kwanza naanza. Sijasoma hata mistari ndio ndio kusoma. Iko mistari zaidi ya 18. Ambao tunataka tupite kwenye hii hata huu wa kwanza sijamaliza Remember mstari wangu ni mstari wa 13 na nimeishia watisa Anasema tujue maarifa ya mapenzi yake Sisi hatujui kwa nini Mungu anataka atupe hela hatujui Hatujui ndio maana hata tunaomba hela kwa aibu Yaani tukiambiwa mambo sawa ya kufanikiwa tunaona kama mm, Mungu hataki sana Mungu anataka tena mbinguni Look at God when he is talking to Abraham Anasema I will bless you Genesis chapter number 12. Tusome pale alafu nimalizie hapo. Tunyuma labda Mungu atatupa tena neema ya kusogea kidogo juma pili. Read this. Kuanzia mstari wa kwanza. Yes sir. Bwana akamwambia Abraham, toka wewe katika nchi yako na jamaa zako na nyumba ya baba yako, uende mpaka nchi nitakayokuonyesha. Siwasikii watu wa Mungu. Na uende mpaka nchi nitakayokuonyesha. Mhm. Nami nitakufanya wewe kuwa taifa kubwa na kukubariki na kulikuza jina lako nawe uwe baraka nami nitawabariki wa kubarikio naye akulaanie nitamlaani na katika wewe jamaa zote za dunia watabarikiwa katika wewe jamaa zote za dunia zitafanya nini watabarikiwa kwa vision ya Mungu akimbariki mtu hambariki kwa sababu anao kumpa hela chakula when god blesses you benny yes, when sir. god blesses you yes sir when god blesses you yes, sir. he want somebody in india to be touched with whatever that he has blessed you for. Amen. If, let me put it this way. If it is from God. Yes. 
a Chinese will understand. Amen. Indian will understand. Amen. Leo nilikuwa naongea na one of the brothers. Nikamwambia unajua moyo wangu unasumbuka. Natafuta baraka. Na mtu anaweza kaniona mimi nichizi, but I'm okay. Siku moja dunia itanielewa. Katika pita pita zangu za kuangalia na kutafuta na kufanya research yangu. Siku moja nilimwona mtumishi wa Mungu Bishop Zakaria Gakobe yupo kwenye kanisa la mtumishi wa Mungu David Young Cho. Anazungumza katikati ya Koreans. And miracles are happening. He was preaching in Swahili. Are you listening? Yes. And another man interpreting in Korea. What a spiritual vibe. A man from Tanzania flying to Korea. Kwenye kanisa la watu zaidi ya 1500. Largest church in the world by then. And he's preaching. Ah. Oh. And lambs are walking, blind sees, miracles like popcorn. I was talking to that brother and going, "Bro, if there is something we need in our generation, it's a crazy faith like that." Narudia tena. Niko hapa. I will not die. My ministry will not die. Your eyes will see. I'm standing in front and the whole ground is full of whites and Japanese and Koreans and I preach. Nasukuyo I will gonga the perfect Swahili ever. Amen. Yes, sunijibu. Then you later jibu shong shong shangalika. This is my dream. This is my vision. If you see me fasting, if you see me pray, It's not just to preach to Tanzanians. I look forward to reach out to nations. I'm not called just for Dar es Salaam. I'm not called just for Morogoro. I'm called for nations Amen. because I carry international blessing. That's how I see. Yes. I don't care what you see about me and about yourself. But all I see a young man from the Tanzanian nation going there. Sio langu ni hili. Baba huyu amekuwa mwenge pale miaka yote. Mkorea alimuonaje? Akamuelewaje? Paka akamuita. Maana yake nini? The man went far in the spirit. Yes. He broke the chains of a nation. Yes. He broke barriers of a nation. He broke a barriers of Africa until in the spirit what one chile they got signal that there is a man in Tanzania there is a man in Tanzania it is so for every one of us yes kwenye biashara yako kwenye kampuni lako chochote unachokianzisha yes think of nations amen kwa nini hiyo auditing career yako ulionayo kwa nini multinational companies wasikutafute kwa nini UBA waseme hivi there is a brain in Tanzania we need it in hot kota kwa nini stand big bank wao wanafanya kazi kama banker kwa nini stand big waseme hivi we are calling this brain from Tanzania ije ifanyie kazi South Africa we need this brain here I don't know labda wenzangu mna mna taarifa but I don't know diplomatic brains ambazo zinatoka hapa bongo zinafanya kazi United Nations and they are known they are known worldwide I know one man called Julius Kambaraga Nyerere from Tanzania presidents by then wapigania uhuru wa miaka ile South Africa kina Nelson Mandela kina Mugabe Zimbabwe kina Yoweri Museveni all all those old men they were running to Tanzania to hear the mind of one guy called Julius Kamaraga nyele tell us how did you break these white people mpaka wakakupa uhuru all nations in africa baada ya Tanzania kupata uhuru all nations in africa 
they got independence from the brain of the man here. How did they know him? What did you do? Listen, when you break spiritual barrier, they can't stop but knowing you. I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is about time to make it rain. Yes. It is about time to break the prison. Amen. Sema kwa damu ya Yesu. Kwa damu ya Yesu. Gereza la mataifa mengine. Gereza la mataifa. Gereza la taifa hili. Gereza la taifa hili. Kuta za taifa hili. Kuta za taifa hili. Halita tuzuia. Halita tuzuia. Hazita tuzuia kuvuka. Hazita tuzuia kuvuka. Kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu. And mind you. Mind you people. Mind you. Sizungumzi hapa kwenda Marekani na kuahubiria waswahili. Because unataka kusikia mtu ah ameenda Ulaya. Eh hey, mtumishi fulani ameenda Ulaya jamani. Eh hey, fulani ameenda kuimba Amerika. Kaenda kuimbia kikundi cha watu waswahili 30. No. Let's go to Malt Nation. No orise swahili. No. Skiliza, walokole wa siasa kali wanaweza kanichukia kwa hiki ninachosema. Lakini I want us to think. Mimi nahubiri haya ili tuwaze. Let us think. Let us think. Davido. He is going there. Hmm? Anaenda <laughs> O2 Arena. And he feels it to the park. Juzi Wizkid alijaza Tottenham Stadium packed full a boy from Nigeria himself doing a show please find me our boys toko bize mitandao tunazozana na wanawake eh eh vision 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 we think kiki will make us famous no way work kazi yes anasema kama wani kama watu hawakuamini anasema kama amniamini mimi basi ziamini ni zile kazi watu wakikusimanga wakikusema wakikutukana piga kazi ndio maana mimi tukana niseme nisengenye niambie mi show tu weka bandika bandua bandika bandua bandika bandu mtanielewa kesho sio lazima mnielewe sasa hizi usiponielewa wewe watoto wako watanielewa amen kuna saa tu mtoto wako atasema mama unamchukia huyu pastor tu lakini ngoa nikwambie ana sera kuliko wewe alafu mtoto wako anakufungia mlango ba so you better love me early bora unipende mapema tu Sitaka kukumbanisha na mwanao kule. I tell you. Unafikiri kwa nini tunaomba maombi ya tunasema hivi? I am a movement. I am a force. Juzi nikaandikia Instagram, sema I am a tornado. When I come, nothing will stand in front of me. I'm a movement. I'm a force. I am a hey. Ah. Mungu anawatoa watoto wake. This is the nature of God, people. This is the mind of God. Hii ndio akili ya Mungu. Anawatoa watoto wake misri. Anawapeleka nchi yake ya hadi. Njiani, kila kilichojifunga kuwazuia, alikifyeka. Yes. That is God. Natoka hapa na umvision yangu inaniambia Japan will hear me. Korea will hear me. Asia will hear me. America thousand and north will hear me. Whatever will stand ahead of me. Kaa mbele yangu kwa asara ya you are dying. Amen. Bahari ya Shamu isiyoongea ambayo haijawahi kukauka hata mara moja tangu kumbwa kwa ulimwengu ilikauka mbele yao. Naniambia nini? Who is the demon powerful enough to stop me? Kama Mungu alikausha bahari ili watoto wake watimize lengo aloliwekea ndani ya mioyo yao. Unataka kuniambia lengo lako linazoeleona nani? You didn't believe God enough. Umemwekea mashaka. Bibi anasema they limited the holy one of Israel. Sisi ndio tunamlimit Mungu wetu. Tunasema tunaweza tukufanya paka Mwanza. Tunaweza tukufanya tu paka Kongo. Tunaweza tukufanya no 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 no. We are called for nations. Yes. Sema nimebeba baraka ya mataifa. Nimebeba baraka ya mataifa. Nakataa kuwa mdogo. Nakataa kuwa mdogo. Say I'm a force. I'm a force. Sema ulimwengu wa roho sikia. Ulimwengu wa roho sikia. I come to you as a tornado. I come to you as a tornado. I'm a force. I'm a force. 
Elia walikuwa wanamuita nabii anayetembea na upepo wa kisuli suli. There was a day alimwambia nabii alimwambia mfalme Ahab run king run because the rain is about to come. Na hapo sio kwamba ameliona wingu, ameona kawingu kama mkono. He didn't have to see the whole cloud. To him Elijah he just needed a cloud like a hand. Sio wingu, kawingu tu kama mkono. Elijah akasema this is enough to fill my faith. Akamwambia mfalme run because it's going to be abundance of rain. Amekiona kiwingu afa sasa hivi I hear abundance of rain. Ameona wingu, hajaona mvua wala hajaona manyu wala hajasikia mvua ila sasa hivi. Kiwingu ulichokiona I hear abundance of rain. Sikilize, uhitaji kupata faida kubwa. Little little profit that you see. Yes. Unaweza kuzitabiri na kusema hivi I can hear the voice of money coming. Amen. I can hear big money is coming. Amen. Ukipata kasoko kamoja kadogo, yes. you raise up and say I hear nations calling. Amen. I hear nation calling. Amen. Listen, crowd hii peke Yes. Inanitosha kabisa kunipa power yes. ya kusema I hear nations coming. Amen. I hear Kenya answering. Amen. I hear Uganda answering. Amen. I hear Asia answering. Amen. I hear America answering to Amen. my call. Hallelujah. Amen. Do okay, you know come we didn't start to be small. Hey, say that to your neighbor. I didn't start to become small. I didn't start to be small. What do you think of me? Oh Pastor Tony. Ah. Unaona kama uko refi sana. Una upum we. I didn't start to be small. I started to be huge. This is the minute I can be. I'm nothing yet. I see. There is something I see. I can hear the voice. Naweza nikiasikia mataifa yanalia. Yanahitaji biashara yako. Yanahitaji bidhaa yako. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Kama ulikuwa naagiza mzigo, uturuki. Sasa hivi na kutuma mwanangu. Usiende tu kwa ajili ya kununua mzigo. Go and sign a contract na kiwanda. Amen. Waambie nita supply Congo. Amen. Nita supply Malawi. Amen. Nita supply na India. Amen. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Unaenda kwa wale wanao kutengenezea hiyo bidhaa unawauliza, ni nchi gani bidhaa yenu haipo? I can be your agent there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say we are breaking the barriers. We are breaking the barriers. I wish it was an overnight. Kinisikia nimetangaza mkesha siku ya leo kiti. Tokea. Because this financial deliverance I don't know who will end when. Mpaka tumesikia mmoja wetu amechukua tuzo ya kimataifa. Amen. Sema nakataa kuwa mdogo. Nakataa kuwa mdogo. Ha, anasema eh Bethlehem ya Yuda. Hu mdogo kamwe maana kutoka kwako atazaliwa mfalme. Bethlehem ilikuwa ni very small city. Akasema hu mdogo kamwe. Wakati Mungu anamtoa Daudi kwenye mji wa Bethlehem, hakuwa anataka tu Daudi awe mfalme. He was prophesying that Jesus will come from Bethlehem. From Butiama. The man is known all over the world. Julius Kambarage nyere. Butiama. Ah. What is our zeal? The reason why we tunakosa ari ya kuishi, tunakosa mzuka wa kuishi, tunatamani hata kujua is because our visions are blocked. Tunajiona tu sisi ni wa hapa. Ma vision yetu hajawa makubwa baada ni hatujioni kwamba hivi wewe unajua kuna watu wa age yetu wa umri wetu wako Marekani hapo ni vijana tu they are discovering <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg is not 40 he's not 50 he's just a fellow young boy like us but look he's feeding us facebook instagram hawakugundua kina bill gate hawakugundua alivyogundua wakiwa na miaka 60 they were at our age alafu unaniambia mimi natakiwa niishie morogoro kasanga bro unanikosea no unanipimia mwanangu you don't know what i'm called for don't allow people to define your calling amen the one who called you is bigger whose hand are you depending on whose hand are you depending are you depending on the hands of your mom of your dad 
ambaye hata yake ndimbo hajafika I'm depending on the hands of global God. Kwake yeye mbinguni hana mipaka. Sisi ndio tunajua kwamba mpaka wa Tanzania na Kenya ni na manga, lakini Jehovah na manga na Tanzania kwake ni sawa. Amen. Kenya na Uganda kwake ni sawa. Yes. He can take me from Dar es Salaam. I tell you, ninaongea hivi malaika ni mashahidi wa haya. Na hata kama Mungu akuwa na mpango wa kunipeleka wa Japani wanisikilize, wa Marekani wanisikilize, malaika wa malaika wanasikia nayo yasema. Na ole wao wasifikishe taarifa hii mbinguni. Watamwambia Mungu dogo kagoma, baba fanya mpango. How do you see? Najipimia sana. You don't have to have all A's. Ngoo ile anaambia utaki kuwa na A zote sio lazima. Mwambie gharama hapa ni kuwa mbishi tu. Aza bisheni nani? <laughs> Bisha America nawe? Bisha Japan nawe? Bisha Korea nawe? Tafunguliwa. Bisha Mwanza nawe? Tafunguliwa. Anyway. <laughs> Bisha India nawe? Tafunguliwa. Maana ukiendelea kubaki Mwanza nani? Ah. Aza bisheni. Bisheni nanyi mtafunguliwa. Maana kila bishae. Kwa hiyo manake ukiona hujafunguliwa, hujabisha. Hujabisha. Kila bishae. Why did you start that company? Yaani mwenyewe ukisha sasa hivi Jesus is waving. Kuna watu hapa. Amtangaza tabia biashara zenu kwenye status za WhatsApp. Mbona pasta mimi natangaza WhatsApp? Okay. Marekani wana WhatsApp yako. You see now? You have to go beyond your phone. Remember, we are the seed of Abraham. We carry Abrahamic blessing. Na baraka ya Ibrahim na demand inasema hivi katika wewe mataifa watajibarikia. Kwa kwa wewe taifa hili linabarikiwa na nini? Nyanya mtumishi. You know, si watu wote wanaokusikiliza wanaelewa Kiingereza. Kwa hiyo uwe makini, ongea Kiswahili. Mtumishi wa Mungu. Mtumishi wa Mungu, mchungaji kwa ajili ya waswahili yupo. Please This boy is international. Kwani tunagombana? Eh tukwani vinakanyagana? No. Eh eh they go kulia I go to the left. Kwani tuna ugomvi? What if our church we plan to receive money offering that tunapokea in dollars? una restaurant yako mahali you are a crazy person unaandika bei ya vyakula wali nyama hmm? shilingi 1000 half mbele kule unaweka dola moja so you can either pay in dollars or in shillings you choose You change your mind the way you think. Amen. Wanyi mnaonua bidhaa China, Marekani au mnaonua Uturuki for instance. Ukienda kule na mati shillings yako. Mimi mimi nina 200. Wanakuuzia eti. They don't mind you. They sell it to you in dollars. It is you who you will kujiongeza to fit in their move respect your move let people think the way you want them to think of you amen give people the image you want them to have about you me i know right now i know if there will be any international big crusade and they are really really looking for a man of god who is not above 40 from tanzania 
kama hawajanitafuta mimi they have just decided to be proud for me this is not pride i know my value i know my levels there is a place i've set myself i've set myself up there and i break myself daily na kujiambia toni wewe ni mtu nyenyekea mbele za bwana atakukweza kwa wakati ila huko niko kule this is the reason why you see me every time kneeling before old men why helping my flesh sababu mwili usichukue cha rohoni kwanza mwili usijua kanywa mabega naiambia mabega yangu kila siku wewe ni mtoto tulia nyenyekea i'm confronting my pride sababu najua kinachokwamisha watu kwenye nchi hii ni pride so i deal with my pride daily i allow myself sometimes to be undermined to be humiliated i'm okay speak all bad that you want about me i'm okay nitasimama mbele za watu nitawaambia you guys i'm here by grace but up here amniziki amnifukishi moni you will see me up how comes team zetu maarufu za nchi zinajivunia sana wachezaji wa nje kuliko wa ndani Kwa nini hatutoi wachezaji wetu wakali wakaenda huko? Unaangalia timu ya taifa kwa mfano ya Senegal au Ghana ikiingia uwanjani hivi, you can tell <laughs> inacheza labda na Uingereza au friends, you can tell panicking ya wale wachezaji kwa sababu they know them. They know Sadio Mane, they know these guys, they know Wanajua mziki wao uwanjani they know them wengine hapa nataja mipira mnaona ni malingalinge tu lakini ndio hivyo mpira huo they know them kwa sababu these boys are dangerous kwa nini tunacheza nao kwenye ligi ya Uingereza inakuja Tanzania wanashaza hapo tayari na point 3 hey askia kaiba kwa namba Mungu ni fazi mimi kwa maana nakukimbilia Leo unawaza Mungu sipo ni hifadhi hapa. Kwisha. Leo tumeanza ni huni utangulizi tu. Tutaomba tu maombi, tutaombea sadaka zetu, tutaenda. Ninaomba Jumapili tuwai mapema nipate muda mrefu mzuri wa kudili na hii kitu. Financial deliverance day one, simama. Chukua sadaka yako. Naye unatizama kwa njia ya mtandao mahali popote ni wakati wa kutoa sadaka yako sasa. Nyanyua sadaka yako juu. Kama umekuja na fungu la kumi, au sadaka yako malum. kule nje msiondoke bila baraka. Don't rush. Kama umeweza kuangalia paka dakika hii, just wait for these five minutes of prayer. Don't rush. Every little word from the altar means something. Don't rush. Watu wa Mungu kule nje mmenisikia nicho ubiri leo. Nisikie Amina kama mmenielewa. Are you going to be international? Kama mlivyo outside, you be the first to be outside the nation. Uh, are you also going to be outside the nation? Na nyinyi mnatuzama kwenye mtandao, you be the first. All of you here you be the first. Ndio kile ninakwambia hivi sisi tunakimbizana na nini kwenye inchi. <laughs> what, what are we competing with? Ah, tatizo mtumishi, mtawala wetu wa elimu. Ha? Mtawala mtawala wa elimu. Messi naye kasoma mtawala wa Marekani. anasema ili tufahamu maarifa ya mapenzi yake there is what god want for us na sisi katika jina la yesu tutakifikia amen kuna zile kuna ile mitiani kuna vile zile certifications za kimataifa let's say career yako ina demand 
uwe na labda you are, you, maybe you are auditor au you are you are an accountant you need a certain certification of international so that you can work in a international banking au international whatever you see niko na muangalia this brother of ours uh, Benjamin Fernandez look at him remember I don't talk here about the people who are worshiping and praying and they do what I don't know I'm taking what we do what we do I am same sasa yule na yeye ni mtoto wa mchungaji Mama yako si alikuwa mlokole nasema yule alikuwa mtoto wa mchungaji The way we think it is a mindset ndio maana nikamwambia deliverance ya kwanza sio pepo toka na kuamuru toka huku mind you Mungu akupe neema don't miss any single day we need to break through we really really need to break through minute from your heart Mungu akubariki. Ongera kwa kusikiliza maneno hayo ya Mungu na jua yamekujenga, yamekuinua. Unaweza kutufuatilia pia ibada zetu live kwa njia ya YouTube na mitandao yetu mingine ya kijamii. Lakini pia kama ungependa kushiriki pamoja nasi kwa njia ya sadaka na jua maneno haya yamekubariki ni kwa 0762153539. Lakini pia unaweza uka to reach out kwa namba hizo hizo kwa njia ya WhatsApp na Mungu atakubariki sana.